Hello and welcome back YouTubers. This is Proto Mario once again. And today we will be reviewing Call of Duty World at War. Now, I know this game is very old and perhaps this review is very late. But uh maybe you were just one of those people who didn't pick this game up because you had Call of Duty 4. So what is Call of Duty World at War? Well, it's uh kind of goes back to the uh, World War days of Call of Duty instead of the Modern Warfare series. This game is made by Treyarch and Black Ops will be coming out as well for um, Xbox and PS3. If you are looking to get a little bit better at Call of Duty, you would do well to pick this one up and try out the multiplayer to sharpen your skills before Black Ops comes out. So let's talk about the menu here. We have solo, cooperative campaign, and might I note that between solo and cooperative, both campaigns do differ. You have Nazi Zombies mode where you fend up yourself off against a horde of never-ending zombies to see how long you can last. You can play this with up to four players. Multiplayer, of course, everyone knows what Call of Duty's multiplayer is all about. Options and credits. Right now I'm going to go ahead and uh, resume my game here. The Red Army's advance into Germany is swift and brutal. In mere months, we have reached Silo Heights, the last line of defense before the German capital. We outnumber the Germans 10 to 1. Wave upon wave of our infantry are unleashed upon them to clear the way for our army. Once we have control of Silo, we will begin the march to Berlin. There, we will ensure that every sacrifice is repaid in blood. As you can see, this game has an excellent backstory and pretty decent history, actually. I'm resuming a game. Though the first level is very nice. Wake up to this scene. You a billion plunder. None of your soldier friends have been killed. No! Point Sergeant, they are already bleeding to them. Then maybe our friend will help them bleed faster. That sucks. There will be no escape. Shoot! I need to shoot them in the back. Very fitting and superb on this game. 
This version of Call of Duty is spare no expense, to say the least. If you don't like the weapon you're given at the start of the mission, we always pick up another. Oh, yes. One thing I forgot to mention about Call of Duty is it really does like to deny it. Um, a lot of the times you'll be asking yourself what you killed me because you won't know. You walk up and you'll just die instantly and that means you weren't supposed to be there at that part. It is a very annoying part. See? Pressing the wrong button. I'll be splitting this review into two parts because, of course, there is multiplayer. However, anybody that knows anything about the Call of Duty series already knows that the multiplayer is good. I just peeked around the corner and you, you're done. Oh, this game is so annoying. And then it resets you all the way back here. Oh, why? Look, look, look. Look at that. Like, I just started the level again. It is one of my pet peeves about Call of Duty. It is terrible. It will ruin the game for 
some of you. I'm only 10, 10 seconds into the game where I just respawned at. where I'm going to end the review guys. I'm sorry but I just if you can get past the you're not supposed to be here system this is a great game. But look. Look at that. Just spawned in and a grenade at my feet. Uh, this is Proto Mario signing out guys.